morning, my friends, and great to see you in large numbers. I'm sure a few more people will come as the traffic and the monsoon has you know, disrupted the roads and it will take some time for them to come. But great to see you. I understand many of you have traveled from different parts of the country, but I'm so sure that you know, your time will be worth attending this event. Before I begin, I will just uh, like to brief only three points. One is ETBFSI.com, what we do. Second is the current state of insurance. And third is about the event as quick as possible. So ETBFSI.com is nothing but a legacy that we're carrying forward in a digital manner of the Economic Times, which is the largest media house in the country. At ETBFSI, we do cover BFSI far more diligently. In fact, we cover banking, finance, insurance, fintech, and BFCs, every sector in far more detail than many others. Uh, ETBFSI and the whole group of Times Group, which is Times Internet, covers all the ET and TOI platforms, I can tell you, uh, with data points that we are the largest media house in the country with 400 million users coming on the websites. So if I put it simply, seven out of 10 Indians are logged into Times Group today. So that's the large group of you know, uh, Times Group and at ETBFSI we cover all that. We have various uh, sectors at ETBFSI from uh, editor's view to leader speak to FinTech diary and so many sessions which covers the different parts of uh, uh, the BFSI segment. Being a digital, we not only write articles and videos, but we believe being a digital, we curate content in different formats, from podcasts to small videos, to infographics, to webinars, to short events. And this is where we also believe that being part of the industry, we should curate content in a different formats like events. And here we are. Uh, so talking specifically about before that, let me tell something about the insurance and my observations. So honestly, friends, being a finance journalist, I really have a, I mean, I have been covering banking, finance, insurance since really long. In fact, now my focus is very much on the fintech space, but I really have a soft corner on the insurance space because when I became a journalist in 2008, when I joined CNBC TV 18, the first sector that I got to report on was the insurance sector. And that's when, you know, I started or I developed my love for it. I can tell you that then, almost 12 years back, we had only 17 life insurance companies and less than that were the general insurance companies. But today, 10 years down the line, we have 31 general insurance companies, including health and 26 life insurance companies. So we have seen a great development in this space. But when I actually look at the insurance, there are many things that went wrong and there are many things that's improving now. When we specifically look at what went wrong, Let's look at the current data. Uh, insurance penetration in India has risen steadily from 2.7 in 2000, 2.7 percent in 2000 to 4.2 in 2020. And uh, as per the economic survey of 2022, 2023, uh, the penetration of the Indian insurance industry is less than 5 percent of the GDP. India is far behind the global average of 7 percent of the GDP in terms of penetration. This is what the economic survey of the last year says, which means that there is a greater scope, there is a greater demand in this sector, and we should go ahead for that. But before that, I will tell you, you know, in my observation, why the penetration didn't pick up or why, you know, the demand is not there. Uh, the insurance companies will simply say, or the government will also say that there is no penetration or people are not looking at a demand or there is no awareness or something like that. But, but in my observation, there are a couple of things went wrong. Even if you wanted to buy insurance product, let me tell you, they were not reasonable. Most of the insurance products are still very, very expensive. Right now, with InsurTech and digital format coming into the picture, a couple of people are kind of uh, uh, are trying their best to uh, make the price reasonable. But the pricing was a major issue. Distribution was a major issue. And apart from that, obviously, mis-selling. Uh, fraud promises of gigantic and guaranteed returns on the insurance were also the major issues in the insurance space because of which customer preferred to stay away uh, from this. Uh, what will work henceforth in my observation is, you know, the kind of difference that the fintechs have, uh, fintechs have specifically made in the industry uh, on the lending side or the credit side is they have come up with the sachetization of the products. I think the similar thing will work specifically in the insurance segment as well, because people cannot buy a simple product which is worth 15,000 rupees. I still remember 10, 12 years back when I decided to buy Ulip 
let me tell you, it was, it was almost two months of my salary and I could not buy it. So the combination of buying a premium for the risk that you are going to take in the future, there is a big mismatch there. And I think there is a greater scope for the insurance companies, insure tech, and all the aggregators to resolve this space. Once that's done, I think penetration or the demand will increase to a different level. Uh, and I think we have a greater example in 2014 when Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched PMJJY, which is Pradhan Mantri Jana Jivan Jyoti Yojana, and Pradhan Mantri Jivan Suraksha Yojana, the life and the health insurance policies with a small ticket premium. I think that was not a beneficial for the insurance companies in terms of making profits or the margins, but what it did is it created a greater awareness. And let me tell you, that was lesser the cost compared to what private insurance companies spend on the marketing just to create an awareness. So these are the, I think, uh, major developments and the changes that I, or my observations specifically about the insurance companies. Now, when I specifically talk about, uh, about today's event, uh, uh, I would like to tell you that uh, uh, we are holding this event in partnership with Zopper, which is a leading insure tech company. We have crafted some 11 sessions, which will discuss various layers of life, general and health insurance. We have more than 35 speakers talking about uh, actually the burning topics. We are glad to have the former secretary of METI, former chairman of LIC, and top CEOs of the leading insurance companies talking about various sectors. Uh, specifically so that you will not get a hangover of the content because there will be a lot of insights. We have also crafted a uh, few entertainment sessions starting from uh, stand-up comedy sessions to a magician sessions to a film star who will talk about the leadership and different aspects here. So I would like you to just enjoy the summit and subscribe to the uh, ETBFSI news portal which is absolutely for free which has all these IPs and the uh, properties where we discuss many other things happening in the industry. For example, Fintech Diary has covered 100 episodes. Editor's View, ETBFSI Explains is nothing but a FAQ and many other aspects that you will find there. Uh, one more thing that I would like to tell you about and which I always, uh, you know, speak whenever I get an opportunity to talk about insurance is, uh, when I was still a cub reporter, I managed to speak to an um, insurance CEO uh, from a leading company. And I told him, sometimes I feel I understand insurance and sometimes I feel I don't understand insurance. He says, oh, you're right, which means you understand insurance. And when, you, when people don't understand insurance, that's when we make our money. <laughs> so, so, so that was a great learning for me. Lastly, what I see is five to six years back, I met somebody from Lemonade, which is UK's top insure tech company. And uh, I, I, maybe at Money 2020 or Singapore FinTech Festival, I don't remember, uh, at Singapore. And I looked at the website of Lemonade and I was very impressed. What they say is the clean, neat, seamless UI and UX. Obviously, they have limited products. But what they sell is we sell policies in 30 seconds. We settle claims in three minutes. In the five years of time, that company had started maybe five years back in the UK. It spread across Europe. And within five years, it got listed on NASDAQ with a greater valuation. I think there is a greater scope for insure tech companies with partnership of traditional insurance companies. But what will really work is sanitization of products, creating awareness, and letting people know the importance of products rather than just telling them that you will get guaranteed returns on the products. This is what I feel will work and we'll discuss a lot of things like this in today's event. So thank you so much for attending in large numbers. Be with us for whole day and I'm so sure you will not regret. In fact, you will enjoy the sessions and you, will, you would love to speak to uh, speakers and network here. So thank you so much for being part of ETBFSI next uh, with Zopper and let's begin. Thank you.